So my weekend did not turn out how I expected it to because I was actually supposed to go to Disneyland this weekend with one of my best friends and we were gonna hang out and sit by the pool, go to Disney, eat good food. And long story short, the day of, the morning of, the trip ended up getting canceled. We are not able to go. And so now I have five days of being at my house with absolutely no plans, which honestly, like after the initial shock of like, bummer, we can't go to Disneyland, that really sucks. After that, I was like, you know, there's so many things that I could do this weekend to get my stuff together and be productive and rest and like do some things that I've been putting off and I just started scheming. So I think I'm gonna have to do like two different parts of this vlog because I just have so much stuff that I wanna do. So I just sat down and wrote out this huge list of a ton of stuff that I wanna get done and projects that I wanna work on. And some of them are just boring things, like I have to replace my car insurance and I have to change my phone plan, things like that that are just boring. But I'm gonna feel so good to get them out of the way and finished. So this is gonna be a little life admin weekend. And I'm so excited. Okay. So one part of my get it done sort of weekend is I need to get my car fixed because I'll, you can kind of see it right here. Um, the weather stripping around my car is falling off like just on that one window for some reason and it's driving me nuts because I just got this car and I want it to be not perfect but I want it to look good and me fixed up nice and so I'm gonna get that weather stripping fixed and I'm also going to get the one of the filters replaced in my car as well so I'll feel so much better when that's done and out of the way it's one of those things that I've just been putting off and it just doesn't really work with my schedule to drop it off during my lunch and then get a ride back and Anyways, I got it figured out for today. My mom's gonna come pick me up and I'll feel so much better when that is taken care of and done and fixed. I'll be able to check it off my list. Okay, so I just picked up my car from the mechanic and they were able to put in the cabin filter and fix one thing, but they didn't order the right part for my seal over here. So I have to go back next week and do it. But everything's paid for at least, which is good. That's taken care of and I'll be able to come in next week and get that all finished. Which is a little frustrating because I was wanting to get it all done, but you can only control so much and that's okay. Um, so another thing on my get it done list is um, set up a new phone account because I've been on my parents and you know I'm an adult I need to be on my own so set that up and same thing for I need to change my insurance so all boring things that I've been freaking putting off and avoiding forever because I just don't know how to do stuff like that and it just takes time to like sit down and figure out like what the best deal is um, what the best offer is, call a couple different companies, make sure that I'm making a good decision on it. But I did that this afternoon while I was waiting for my car to be done and I actually feel pretty good about it. I feel like, I mean, honestly, my mom helped me. I'm just gonna admit it, my mom helped me, but I just don't know how to do stuff like that. And so she kind of taught me the process and I got to see her do it and yeah it's a humbling part of learning things like that learning how to adult from a more adult adult so I'm headed back over to her house and she's gonna 
help me finish the insurance stuff and get that all paid for and taken care of. And then I think I'll be good. PJs and I am going to make face wash that's one thing that I've been trying to do is do like a little bit more natural products slowly like incorporating so I have like a natural face wash that I got from the store and then I'm gonna try making one with baking soda coconut oil and frankincense and a little bit of tea tree oil I made it before and it turned out pretty good. I feel like I had too much baking soda in it though because my face got kind of dry from it. So I'm gonna try a different recipe tonight and see if that works better. <gasps> okay. We are back in the car. Um, I'm gonna head to the bank because I need to transfer. Um, so I'm transferring money to my parents right now for my car insurance and the cell phone plan. But now that that stuff is switching, I'm gonna cancel that and then change a couple things around at the bank. And I'm also gonna stop by the thrift store because I am getting a dog. I'm getting a puppy in three weeks and I saw a little dog bed that I really liked that that was really cute at the um, thrift store by my house and I should have just bought it but for some reason I did not. So I'm gonna go back and see if it's there because I keep thinking about it. Um, and yeah, so that's how we're starting our productive day. Woo! Okay, I got it all taken care of at the bank. I feel so good that that is checked off my list. Um, so I got that taken care of and now I'm at Goodwill. I'm gonna try and find that dog bed. And honestly, I'll probably end up looking for other things too. I also need to get a basket. I got a new plant for my room. Cause I'm trying to switch out all of like my fake plants for like real ones since I'm like actually somewhat able to keep them alive now fingers crossed i continue to keep them alive um, but i need to get like a different pot or like a basket or something for it because it has like this like striped basket that it's in and i'm just not a striped girl you know not my thing so i'm gonna look for that also <laughs> Okay, so I got so much stuff, <laughs> oops. But honestly, all of it is stuff that I like really needed. And I know people probably always say that, but I feel like it's true. All of it is stuff that I've been looking for and like it has been on my list of things to thrift. And I just happened to find all of it freaking today. <laughs> so I'm not complaining. Um, but the dog bed that I was talking about was there. It's this one it's just plain it looks like it's never been used it looks on the screen like there's a stain but there's not it's just kind of like how the fur on it is um but yeah it's just really simple cute um definitely cheaper to buy it at a thrift store it was five bucks to get this um but definitely thought that it was cheaper to get at, the, at a thrift store than 
if I were to get it at like the Grange or PetSmart or something like that. So that's good. I feel like it kind of matches the aesthetic of my room and I know that's kind of silly, but it matters to me. <laughs> um, and then I got this laundry basket right here, which as you can see, it looks just like the laundry basket that I have, which I really like this one, but it's just way too big. It's pretty large. And one of the things that I've been trying to do um, as I've been trying to live a little bit more minimally is I, I finally have like a pretty curated closet to wear. Like before I had so many clothes that I couldn't have all of my clothes in my closet because they wouldn't fit. But now all my, clo my clothes fit in my closet great. And so I want to try and have a laundry basket that's small enough to where when it fills up, it's the perfect amount just for one load. That way I don't end up getting like three loads crammed in there and then I have to do it all at once and it's overwhelming. This way I can just keep it really easy and once it fills up, I have no other choice than to do that one load at the time. And I think that that's really gonna help me. And um, I like that there's like a little lid on it and I think it's cute. Um, so I got that. And I also got this bin because this weekend, one of the things that I was wanting to do is go through my shed. And actually my shed is already gone through and it's already pretty much organized. I need to go through it one more time, but um, I need to like actually condense some of the stuff that's in there. Like I need to be able to put things in a bin. And so I was going to go to Costco this weekend and get some bins for my shed but I found this one there and it's a little bit beat up definitely but it's for a shed I feel like that doesn't matter um so I think it was how much money was this it was six dollars so I feel like that's way better than what I would have gotten from like a new brand a brand new one at Costco so happy with that um and then I also got some clothes that I'm really excited about, um, that I will try and write up for you, see if they work. Also, I got this chair. Um, it has like a little weird mark on it, but honestly, I don't really care. And I might just end up sanding it down anyways. Um, but I've had this chair, which I think is really cute, but it is just not sturdy. Like, I feel like it's going to buck me off every time I sit down on it. So I think I'm going to donate this and someone else can try and fix it. I also don't love the green as much. I don't know. It's just not my favorite. So um, I think I'm going to try to sell that or donate it or something like that. And I want to see if this one will work instead. I really like the vintage look of it. And it matches my vanity really well. So let's see how it looks. Mm, I love it. I think it looks so cute. It matches my vanity so well, and I love this backing. I think it's so cute. This looks really cute and cottagey and minimal, and I love it. I think it's so cute. Okay, this is so stinking cute. I love it. It fits me so well. I love the color. I've been so into this like brown, rusty sort of color. I love the length, which never happens because I'm freaking 5'9 and so tall. But I love how it fits. I think it looks so cute. I just feel like such a woman. <laughs> okay. I don't know how I feel about this one. It feels almost a little too picnic table, little house on the prairie sort of vibe, which part of me kind of loves and part of me is not so sure about. Also, the other thing, I feel like my armpits are like cutting off circulation. <laughs> it fits great everywhere else. Like it's very comfortable, except for my armpits, which is a very weird place to not fit. Okay, these good find love these they're so comfy they're like very kind of 
soft, dewy material, if that makes sense. Um, but I've been looking for something like this because I wear pretty much the same sweats every night. Not every night, but a lot of times. Oh, there's a hole. We got to fix that. <laughs> um, but I just don't like the way that they look. They just don't fit great and they're really stained. I've worn them for years. I really like them, but I think that I might switch them out for these instead because I like the tan color. I feel like they look a little bit better than just like my normal gray sweats that I normally wear. They're a little bit cuter, but still really comfy. And I just, I like them. But yes, I will definitely have to fix this hole because that will be a problem. So I'm gonna return a couple things that I didn't want at Goodwill. And I figured while I'm there, I might as well just check through my closet really quick and make sure that there's nothing in particular that I wanna donate that I just don't feel like I need anymore. And I think I'm just gonna donate the chair that I had and this basket, um, this one, my old one. Honestly, I just, I, I don't wanna deal with the hassle right now of Facebook Market. And I've sold so much on Facebook Market and Poshmark and stuff lately that I've made probably like a thousand bucks on there, which is awesome. But I'm, a part of me is like, at some point am I gonna have to start paying taxes on this stuff? I don't really know how that works yet. I'm gonna have to do some research on that, but I'm a little bit afraid of like continuing to sell stuff on there. I'm not sure, but um, I'm gonna take a quick peek through my closet really quick and see if there's anything that I can donate. And then I'll be going back to Goodwill, which is thankfully five minutes from my house. done for the day at my grandparents house um it rained on us the whole time <laughs> so i'm a drowned rat at the moment with wet hair and wet clothes but it was so fun it was so sweet seeing my grandparents and just getting to help them with some yard work and ripping out a couple trees things like that um, but it was really fun and now i'm gonna go home and put on my pajamas get warmed up maybe take a hot shower and then maybe make some soup or something that sounds kind of nice um, yeah one thing that i wanted to do was go through my shed and organize it a little bit better because i pretty much already went through it and got rid of the stuff that i don't need anymore but it doesn't really have much of a system so i got this big bin a big bin that i got from Goodwill and I am going to try and make things look a little bit more neat and tidy and accessible in there.
bit better. At least everything is accessible now and looks a little bit better. This is my roommate's side. So she's already pretty organized on that side. So this is my side and it's looking better. Next, I'm going to try and figure out the drip system for this smart pot. That's a big plan. Don't mind that. You are currently being propped up by a tomato plant. It's working. Um, okay, so the last time I tried to do this, it was an epic fail. I didn't tape the end of the drip system right, and so this was just like an open hose that was watering a hole in the ground. And we had to call a handyman because I didn't know why I was losing so much water. And he's like, um, you didn't do that right. And it was very embarrassing. He was very nice about it. But I'm gonna try and make that not happen again because that would be a real bummer for that to happen twice. <laughs> so I've learned and this time is going to be better. I've decided. I think I did it right this time. See, I'm so excited. Um, I guess we'll find out tomorrow <laughs> if I did it right. Or I guess I could turn the water on now and see if it works. But I think my job here is done. Mm -hmm.